This is Simplify Terra India Opportunities ETF, ticker symbol IOPP. In this video, we will discuss why invest in India, why is active management important, and finally, how is IOPP managed? So why invest in India? India has among the most favorable demographics in the world, a vast and rapidly growing middle class, and one of the fastest growing economies in the world. All of these factors combine to make India a compelling investment opportunity. First, India is not only the most populous country in the world, but it is also by far the largest democracy. This is important because there's a strong correlation between democracy and economic growth over time. India is also a very young country. The median age of 29.5 years is far younger than the other largest global economies. The median Indian is more than a decade younger than the median Chinese or European, and two decades younger than the median Japanese. A younger population can support a higher growth rate than an aging one, as aging populations struggle with a shrinking workforce and fewer workers supporting an ever-growing elderly population. In fact, 42% of India's population is under the age of 24, and only 21% of the population is over the age of 50. This compares favorably to not only developed markets, but many of the largest developing countries as well. India's middle class is rapidly growing as well. It already numbers about half a billion people and is projected to grow to over a billion by 2047. A growing middle class means continued economic growth, particularly in the consumer sectors of the economy. The growth of India's middle class has gone hand in hand with the growth of its economy which has been among the fastest growing in the world. It had a GDP of less than $500 billion in 2001 and is projected to be over $5 trillion in the next three years, according to the IMF. This is a compound growth rate of 9.6% per year. Within three years, India is projected to surpass Japan and Germany to become the world's third largest economy after the U.S. and China. This growth rate is forecast to be several times that of developed countries. It's also expected to grow faster than even most developing countries. The rest of the world has taken notice, as direct foreign investment into India has surged over the past 20 years. A growing economy and favorable demographics make India a compelling growth story. However, there already exist several India Index ETFs for investors to choose from. Why does active management make sense for Indian equities? Indian stock market indices are dominated by large energy, global outsourcing, and export-oriented pharmaceutical companies. These companies are primarily impacted by global factors not tied to the most dynamic part of the Indian story, the growth of the middle-class Indian consumer. For example, large energy companies are primarily impacted by the price of energy, which is set globally. Large IT outsourcing companies are influenced by global growth as well as other factors, such as European and American labor laws, that again, are not primarily driven by the growth of the Indian consumer. Let's look at discretionary spending. When per capita GDP grows by 50%, like the period we're in now, discretionary spending grows by five times. This massive shift in discretionary spending is not fully captured by the biggest companies in the Indian indices. In particular, much of this domestic consumption will be driven by the projected growth in urban income, currently running at an 11% annual growth rate. Another important theme that is not fully captured by the Indian indices is the digitization of the economy. There are already over half a billion smartphone users in India, and this is expected to grow to over 900 million by 2030. By 2030, internet users are expected to be 72% of the population. This can lead to continued growth in services, technology, retail, and other aspects of the economy. We've seen the case for active management. Now let's discuss how IOPP will be managed. Stocks will be chosen by the fund's sub-advisor, System 2 Advisors. We'll discuss the fund's investment themes, investment process, and portfolio construction. System 2 is an asset manager with deep expertise in India. They have access to 65 investment and support professionals in India across four offices, 
with extensive contacts in the Indian industry. They've run a successful hedge fund with over eight years of performance history. The fund is positioned to take advantage of three big investment themes. First, as we discussed, is the expanding middle class with rising incomes. A dramatic increase in purchasing power should benefit consumer-oriented companies. The next theme is the formalization and digitization of the economy. As the economy transitions from an informal economy to a formal one, that should result in rising corporate profits and industrial development. Rising internet and smartphone usage could benefit many sectors of the economy. Finally, there is the growth of manufacturing. Favorable government policies combined with a relatively low wage structure make India a growing manufacturing destination for several sectors including technology, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. For example, Apple plans to eventually manufacture a quarter of all iPhones in India. A growing manufacturing sector means not only growth for the industrial sector, but also rising wages for the entire population, not just the highly educated. The investment process begins with a quantitative screening of 800 to 1,000 companies for growth and profitability. Companies that pass the screening go through a four-pillar framework that evaluates them on management quality, business mode, growth drivers, and future potential. Chosen companies then undergo a rigorous internal debate among System 2 analysts and portfolio managers on the investment thesis from bullish and bearish perspectives. The final result is a portfolio of 25 to 40 high-conviction names. Looking at portfolio construction, the fund will be a concentrated portfolio of 25 to 40 best ideas. There will be a maximum of 10% concentration in a single stock, with a target holding period of a minimum of two to three years. The goal is to maintain a high active share with no benchmark hugging. The fund uses this active share to seek to outperform the MSCI India Index. Lastly, the fund will be long only with no leverage. Let's look at the current portfolio by way of example. Even though these are long-term themes, keep in mind that this is for illustrative purposes only as fund holdings can change at any time. For the overweights, it's no surprise that the consumer sectors, both staples as well as consumer discretionary, are highly overweight. This is the key theme of the fund and a primary reason why we believe active management will be beneficial. The overweighting in the industrial sector benefits from formalization of the economy and growth of manufacturing. As for underweights, the fund is underweight in the information technology sector. This may surprise investors who generally associate technology with being a fast-growing segment of the economy. In India's case, however, the indices are dominated by large global technology outsourcing firms that don't necessarily benefit much from the country's key economic and demographic trends. Instead, the fund's technology holdings will focus on the companies that benefit from the growth and digitization of the Indian economy. Not surprisingly, the fund has little to no exposure to the slower growth and highly regulated energy, materials, and utility sectors. Now for some Q&A. India's stock market has had such a good run lately and doesn't seem cheap. Is it too late to invest? While India has made a lot of progress over the past decade, much of its economic growth remains ahead of it, including a projected doubling of its middle class over the next 25 years. If investors believe in the long-term Indian growth story, there could be a decades-long runway ahead. How much should investors allocate to India? We can't give individual recommendations here, but think about this. The Indian stock market represents about 2% of the global equity market capitalization. Investors with less than 2% of their equities devoted to India are actively betting against one of the fastest growing economies in the world, with the best demographics. Investors should ask themselves if they are comfortable making that bet. Why did Simplify partner with System2 to be the sub-advisor for IOPP? Fundamental based active management requires boots on the ground research. System 2 is a world class firm with access to 65 professionals in India conducting fundamental research with deep expertise in the Indian economy, culture, and business environment. 
Their reach, resources, and proven track record make them the best choice to partner with on IOPP. Thanks for viewing this presentation. If you have questions about this or any other Simplify ETF, please go to simplify.us. We'd like to hear from you directly. So from the homepage, you can hit the Contact Us button to get in touch and we'll respond promptly.